There was also another pair of skeletons discovered in Modena in Italy back in 2009 and they were dubbed as the lovers of Modena. These two individuals were found buried together hand in hand, believed to have passed around 1,600 years ago during late antiquity period. The burial suggests that it was likely Christian, which makes it even more unique given religious attitudes at the time. The closeness of the skeletons could indicate a romantic, platonic relationship. However, this is debated. Could they have been possibly lovers? Researchers firmly believed that the two were a heterosexual couple buried together, but recent research using peptide analysis that was conducted by University of Bologna confirmed that the two skeletons were in fact male. Peptide analysis uses the tooth enamel proteins, specifically amylogenin, which is sex-specific to determine the sexes of skeletons. A male has XY chromosomes and a female has two X chromosomes. However, you yourself can tell whether a skeleton is male or female using your bare eyes. So, how can you detect this? Forensic anthropologists and archaeologists use several skeletal markers to estimate biological sex. Look at the long bones, which are the femur and humerus. Males tend to have thicker, more robust bones with more pronounced muscle attachments. Females generally have smoother, less pronounced markings. The skull of a female has smoother brow ridges that are less pronounced, a rounded chin, and smaller mastoid processes. Whereas males have more prominent brow ridges, squarer chin, and larger mastoid processes. A female tends to also have a wider pelvis with a broader sciatic notch, a more pronounced preauricular sulcus, and a pelvic inlet is wider for childbirth. As for males, their pelvis has a narrower pelvis subpubic angle and sciatic notch, and it is more robust. But please understand that poor skeletal preservation can make sex estimation difficult using visual, so other means like protein analysis have to be applied.